What is good, guys? How's everybody doing here? Once again, it's Mom Burning Kid here back again. Coming to you again with another uh, request for my Patreons. Uh, still continuing for my Patreon, Lorenzo Small. Uh, thank you so much again uh, for the support. Uh, Lorenzo, I appreciate it so much. And I'm still continuing. I'm waiting for your next uh, three request videos for this month or so. I'm still finishing off August and I did his first poll where he wanted me to do uh, vi video game title franchises that would work better as a TV series than a movie and I finished that not too long ago I really had a lot of fun with that and I might actually I think I'm gonna continue that because that was actually fun I think I so basically I'm telling you guys right now look in, in the next couple of days there will be a part two to that video because I really enjoyed doing that. But today, on this video, guys, we are here to do another one of his requests. Uh, and this is my, what 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 do I want my lineup, basically, of, for the MCU X-Men. We all know that the Children of the Atom are coming to the MCU, everybody. I think nobody is mistaken that. And I'm glad that they're taking time with this, these, those merry mutants. I'm glad. I don't want them rushed in. I don't want them just all thrown in one movie. That was the main, one of the major problems I had with Fox. And one of the other ones that I don't, I really have a problem with is not respecting the lore, respecting the core, respecting the founding members. Not really, okay? It is time to put some respect on the founding members. Now, yes, you could say, well, Chris, they didn't really do the founding members of the Avengers in the MCU. Not all of them, true. But at least they kept somewhat true to them. So, the MCU founding members of the Avengers were Cap, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Okay, six members. Now, with the founding members of the X-Men, there, there were five. Later on, in the late 60s, there were more recruits. There were a couple more recruits. But I feel that you need to respect that. And if I and if I know Kevin, and we know Kevin Feige as well as we do, we know that this man is gonna look at everything that Fox did with the X-Men and say, I'm gonna do it back. And maybe do it with a twist to it. But I love the X-Men. Y'all all know I love the X-Men. The X-Men is my favorite superhero team in comics. But for everybody else, X-Men come first. Why? Simple. It's a little bit more relatability with the X-Men. If you were different in any means, doesn't matter if you were short, tall, fat, medium, black, white, whatever, gay, you were an X-Men. You could understand what they were going through to a somewhat. But I am glad that they are waiting. Now, technically, I feel we will see the X-Men maybe maybe phase six or two or probably after that secret war movie I, that's where i'm banking on it but in the meantime my lineup of the mcu x-men who would be that made up of? i'm going to give it to you right now so with that being said who would be my lineup for the mcu x-men well first of all this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna up it with, in terms of how they did the founding members of the MCU Avengers. They had six, I'm gonna take it, up it to eight members. There should be, to me, there should be eight members of the X-Men. And believe it or not, guys, I'm gonna let you guys right know right now, there ain't no popular, high popular characters on my lineup so you will not see storm you will not see nightcrawler you will not shink clawed mutant on this team yeah 
I had to break out my Wolverine claws on you guys. But no, there will not be any of those members on the team. Why? Because I don't think they need it. Why? Because I think those characters should appear in later installments or also in their own movies first and then lead into it. And I'll explain later more. But in the meantime, Lorenzo, here you go. This is for you, my man. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. Here it is. So, number number five. <laughs> number number one through five on the list. Let's let's do it right now because here it is. The founding five members. Period. Scott, Gene, Bobby, Hank, Warren should all be on the team. The original five. And the one thing I don't want, I don't want them teenagers. I want them young adults, but they are so much a fully fledged team, they make the Avengers look like a welfare case in terms of their teamwork. They know how others, their teammates think. They know how to work patterns. I want the X-Men to be so coerce, coordinated with their teammates. Like I just said, make the X, the Avengers look like a welfare case. So yes, the fir, the fir, the five founding members on should be on the lineup. Scott. Gene, Hank, Bobby, Warren. I'm not going to get into who I would cast, but yes, those should be, that's the five right there. What are the other three? Well, let me go down. Let me give you some more. So, in number six, that makes up. Number six should be <clears throat> Lorna Dane, a.k.a. Polaris. Polaris, once again, if I know Kevin Feige as well as I think I do, he loves to pay homage to the to the source. And Lorna was an X-Men before she went on to be part of X-Factor. She was an X-Men. She was a late recruit in the late 60s. I believe it was X-Men number 50 or in the 60s. I can't remember off the top of my head, but she was a part of it. Lorna Dane, of course we all know her to be the only now legitimate daughter of Magneto, but yeah, Lorna Dane, Polaris, a part of the team. That's number six. Number seven on the list, Havoc, Alex Summers. Yes, now we have seen Alex before in the movies, and in my opinion, they I wasn't that pissed off with the twist they did. They made Alex the big brother while Scott was the younger brother. Well, in my opinion, in the MCU, it should be back to what it used to be. Scott, un until you introduce Vulcan, but Scott, older brother, Alex the younger brother. But, but Havoc was a part of the X-Men as well. He was a part of, he was a part of the, the 60s team recruits Later on, you got Havoc on the team, and, and there you go. I love Havoc. I've always loved Alex Havoc. I've always loved his powers. I always liked his power set. I, I was a little bit more of a, a, a Havoc fan than Cyclops. I'll make that perfectly clear. But Havoc should be on the team, in my opinion. In my opinion, he should not have his classic look that you... that No, I'm, you're looking more at his... The, the look I would go for more is maybe his current, his, his like X Factor look. That's the image that I'm using. Uh, but his old school look, I know, don't go with that. That, that. that could not work. That could not fly in there. But yes, have it. That's number seven. And last but not least, number eight. This may, this may wow a lot of people. Changeling. Or what later on he was called Morph. Yes. Changeling was a part of the X-Men and he was actually the first X-Men recruit technically before the, you know, Deadly Genesis and all that when we found that Professor Xavier had another team. He was the first. 
before Thunderbird and all of them, he was the first X-Men to die on a mission. He was a short-lived character, and I would, could see Kevin using that and be like, you know what? Well, I'm going to use that character. Still keep him the chain, you know, the, the shapeshifter and everything like that. The, the, the goofy character, funny, up, you know, always keeping the team in good nature. But yes, later on, yes, when he was introduced, Changeling was introduced in a 90s cartoon, he was called Morph. And then they brought him, they made an alternate version of Morph for the exiles and everything like that. But before he was called Morph, before that, he was called Changeling. And his name was, I wrote it down so I, could, I couldn't remember his name off the top of my head, uh, Kevin Sidney. And he first appeared in X-Men number 40 back in 1968. That would be the core lineup of the MCU of X-Men at the time. That is my lineup. Now, I know there's a lot of people that are saying, dude, like, no Wolverine, no Storm, no, no. Why not? Simple. You can save those characters. Why? Here we go. Let me explain it to you. You do the first move. You have that team, so to speak. The end of the movie is doesn't really end well. The X-Men are captured. Yeah, I don't know if you could do maybe Krakoa and all that like they did, but the X-Men are captured. Cyclops is probably the only survivor. Survivor to escape. Comes back, tells Professor Xavier. Xavier uses Uncanny team. The team that we saw in Giant Size X-Men. There's your part two. There's your X-Men 2. See where I'm going at with that? That's why. The one thing I don't want from the MCU version of the X-Men is just characters are just thrown in the movie just to get a, a buzz out of people. Oh God, we got a fan favorite character. Yeah, that's great. But if that fan favorite character over is overloaded or pretty much just takes the spotlight from all the other characters, Wolverine did that with Fox. He became the main star while everybody, look, everybody else, I don't care what anybody said, everybody else in the Fox run of X-Men were below Wolverine. They were the third, fourth, sixth wheel. It was his world, that's how it was. And that's not good. It's not Wolverine and the X-Men, it's the X-Men. And I love Wolverine to death, but I can see him not being in that first movie. You can have him working with Alpha Flight. Give them a spotlight. You can build the mutant universe Alpha Flight and have Logan a part of Alpha Flight. Then, later on, after whatever they do in Alpha Flight, I can see it now. Maybe Puck says, Hey, Logan, there's this guy in a wheelchair that wants to see you. He comes, that's his day. I need to speak to you. Sets up your, sets up your, your sequels. Just saying, there are certain things, there are certain characters that need the solo movies more. Green, Gambit, maybe even Storm. Yes, Storm. But the fact is, I don't want them in the first movie. Focus it on the founding members and the later recruits. Pay more homage to the original run. That's just me. I'm old school, but that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my lineup of my, of the MCU X-Men team. Uh, thank you, Lorenzo, for uh, asking me to do this. It was a little easier for me to do because I knew what I was going for. And your last video that you asked me to do uh, for the month of August, and I, like I said, I'm behind. I'm very much, uh, not for August, for July. I'm very much below, below, behind, yeah is um, 
actresses I could have seen playing Aunt May outside of Marissa Torme. I'm a, I have going to have fun with that too. Uh, so I will get that up as soon as I can. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will see you guys next time. Thank you. And uh, 